zurück bei Abenteuerleben. Now it's well known that houses can be built faster than they are by old fashioned brick and block and that nowadays we have prefabricated houses. But you probably won't have seen the speed at which a company in Western Germany is able to build its timber frame houses. They are being built in a huge manufacturing plant just like a car assembly line. You start with a log and end up with a house. In only two weeks, this log will be part of a house somewhere in Germany. The sawmill company Van Roja in Westerwald is the biggest timber supplier for construction companies in Europe. Every day, 50 timber lorries deliver fresh logs from the nearby forests. The first stop is the debarker. From here, the timber goes to the crosscut saw facility. Thorsten Derler checks the quality of 80 meters of timber per minute. He divides them into quality grades and then cuts them to the correct lengths. You can see a log here. Our program searches for the best use of it. Here I can see the log's strengths and can decide where to cut it. The timber then goes through a sorting process. Here, the logs for houses are being sorted automatically according to type and size and stored in stacks. More than 300,000 meters of timber are being processed in this sawmill every year. A special crane lifts the logs onto the span and circular saw line, chipping and cutting. The round logs are now becoming angular beams. The span saw cuts the sides of the logs and then it will be processed further by the circular saw line. This massive machine cuts 93,000 meters of timber per month. If you lay them next to each other, this would mean a log of 450,000 meters in length. The side battens are being cut off. The battens are sorted by conveyor belts according to their sizes. Finally, the machines stack them together into packages. Workers are sorting the beams by hand. Most of the timber goes into the drying chamber. Timber with a moisture content of only 18% is better protected against weather conditions, mold and fungi, and insects. After seven days in the drying chamber, the timber is delivered to the manufacturing plant, carefully watched by the production supervisor, Dietmar Sturz. We work according to the just-in-time principle. It can be the case that special-sized timber, which we need at short notice, does not get sorted in the interim, but will go directly into production. The company base in Weinsheim in the Rhineland produces completely finished houses from the timber delivered to them. Two houses per day are the minimum. The first step, a member of staff transfers all the measurements from the construction drawings onto the timber and then cuts them accurately according to the measurements. These are the holes which will be used later to bolt the walls together. This is the heart of the production. A complete external wall will be built in only five steps. 25 studs form the frame of this wall. If you like, you can compare this with Lego. The individual parts all fit together very accurately. Our member of staff doesn't have to cut the timber to fit it. He only has to follow the measurements given to him and fit the right studs in accordingly. If we go to another table, you can see a nearly finished external wall where on the inside the gypsum fireboards have been fixed and on the outside the first part of the thermal insulation system has been fixed. The men are spanning a membrane over the walls, the so-called vapour control layer. It will prevent any moisture from the room getting into the insulation. Then the wall is fixed with the gypsum fibreboards on one side. A computerized machine uses air pressure to fix the boards with 35 mm staples. The wall is now ready for the insulation. Before the men finally finish the wall off, they have to incorporate all required electricity outlets. Here, the cable for the entrance door light is installed in the factory.
All the connections and pipes for the sanitary service installations are also being built into the wall in the factory. The insulation consists of 140 mm thick rock wool. The rock wool can withstand a temperature of more than 1000 degrees Celsius. The timber house will therefore not burn down easily. The external wall is now encased on both sides with gypsum fiberboard. The next step is the installation of the windows. They have an average weight of 25 to 40 kilograms, which is too heavy for the members of staff, so they use a vacuum grab to position the windows in place. The polystyrene is now glued on. The wall is nearly finished. In only 75 minutes, five members of staff have produced an external wall from some loose timber. Now the wall is ready for the rendering process. The render is applied mechanically. A render spraying system ensures that the layers are of a consistent thickness. The render has to dry for three days before the wall can leave the factory. The window seals and the rolling shutters have already been installed. The basic render layer has been applied. The assembly of the house is based on the modular construction principle. The assembly crew will have a plan which states when and which wall and in which order the walls have to be assembled. The holes serve as the connection for the fittings. With these fittings, the walls are attached together and by pulling the nuts, the fittings penetrate the counterpart in the other wall and hence you have a solid connection. Parallel to the wall production, in another hall, other members of staff work on the roof. The roof beams are 240 mm thick. 20 to 40 kg heavy chipboard is being used as flooring. The tasks which were once carried out by a carpenter are now replaced by machines. A joinery machine produces the whole roof structure. The cutting of each individual roof component is completely computerized. Directly opposite, however, there is still a workplace where an electric screwdriver and a claw hammer are being used. These roof beams are 6 to 9 meters long. The 18 roof components are being packaged up and are ready for transportation. Only four to five days after the timber was delivered, the finished house components leave the factory. These external walls have a total weight of approximately 18 tons. The total weight of this house will be about 65 tons. A medium-sized prefabricated house would consist of 97 components, which would fit onto two articulated lorries. This is the 1400th house that has left the factory under the supervision of Dietmar Sturz. He still sees each house off personally. The assembly of the house. Only five workers are required for the assembly process, four crew members and one crane operator. Their target is to have a waterproof house by the end of the day. And indeed, this house is waterproof after only nine hours of work. It is hard to believe that the majority of this house were trees in a forest only a few weeks ago. That's it for today. Don't forget the competition. We're showing the question here again. For more information, please visit our website. We will see you again next week at Abenteuerleben. Till then, take care.